Okay, guys, good morning. It's uh, Monday, November 14th, 2016, and this is our weekly zones for the, uh, for the upcoming week, November 14th through the 18th. So let's go ahead and get started and see what we've got in store for us for the week. All right, first up is the S&Ps. Hey guys, look at this morning, another green opening. You know, that's uh, been the story for the last couple of years. Uh, hard to see, hard to find periods w that we've had like here. Uh, a few red openings scattered throughout here. Uh, it's predominantly been, been green openings for days and weeks and months at a time. So. Uh, uh, nothing changed here. Record run last week. Still got a bid under the market. It's been there all night long. We haven't moved. We opened up, rallied up, stayed here all night long. So uh, let's look at the levels for the S&P. Upper levels at 2237. Lower levels at 2098. I currently have an offer to sell the strangle um, at 2205. Right here at the first level, and 2125, just right below the first level, right right above our little zone there. Uh, I feel pretty safe selling those. Uh, I'm going to start tightening these trades up, trade them a little bit tighter, uh, collect a little more premium. Um, I'll adjust them a, a little bit so when, when we get to these levels right here, just a little bit sooner. So those are my those are the key points I'm trading off of. In the S and P's, so I've got an offer in uh, to try and sell those at a 525 credit. Currently trading at 540, so uh, don't know why it's not taking. We've been been bouncing there for about the past 30 minutes, and uh, no takers on that trade as of yet. So we'll just keep it there. And uh, well, and just as I was speaking, we took it. So we're in on that strangle uh, again. We. We sold the uh, 2125s and the 2205s for the four days to expiration. All right, guys, let's go to the ZBs. Check the ZBs out this morning. They're down another. Uh, as of as of right now, they're just continuing to fall down 203 overnight. Uh, did, I did not imagine those things collapsing continuing to collapse uh, I've seen it maybe once in my lifetime where they just make just a huge rundown kind of like the oil market does but I've never seen them collapse down like this right here after a big week never would have bet on that up oh, let me go back one slide guys sorry I lost my pointer here okay so right in here is when I come out last week um, yeah we're we're two and a half points below that so uh, yeah, did not expect that from the crude market, but then again, uh, nobody else did either. All right, so our weekly zones for the week are 158.23 and 149.01. So those are the zones in case you uh, decide to play the bond market. Bond market, the first levels tend to get hit 50 some percent of the time. Just keep that in mind. Uh, roughly 90 percent of the time, do we ever close? outside of uh, those levels right there we closed outside last week so historically what I found out is that um, anytime we get a close above this beyond the second level during a week I have not found a week yet where it's replicated that and closed outside those second levels so that's a pretty strong indication that uh, you might get to see some two-sided action in the bond market this week and waffle back and forth, uh, even though they look really heavy right now. So, All right, let's take a look at crude. All right, guys, you can see crude is just resting right on top of this support level we have right here. There's actually, a no actually another level um, that's hidden underneath this thick blue uh, layer of support. So we've got... We've got two layers of support clustered right on top of each other. And just look, 
where the buyers have stepped in to keep this market up right there at that level the entire time look at where it came down to on uh, election night and bounced from look where it came down to oops sorry guys look look where it came down to and rested on Friday so now we find ourselves right back on top of that level again um, in case we do break through it we have another layer of support it's a one one two seven uh, extension a 1.272 extension uh, off of uh, I think this minor swing right here that comes down so that's the crude market and our levels for the week are 47.94 38.98 uh, anybody that's in one of these positions, I'm in the uh, two expiration cycles, one with, uh, well, we have two days to go, I think we have two days to go in one, and then I'm in the uh, the F7, which uh, has, uh, I think, maybe 30 days or so to go. <clears throat> so I'm really watching this level closely for the F6 that I'm in, I'm sorry, the Z6. Uh, I will uh, look to start hedging very, very rapidly in Z6 if we get down to 42. Um, I, you know, I'm still still pretty safe down to 40 in Z6 with two days to go, but I'm not waiting around for it. And one of the things I've noticed is that these trades right now in crude, we're just not losing any theta at all. Uh, my positions haven't lost hardly any theta over the weekend, you know, from Friday morning until now. Normally crude's pretty good about, uh, you know, getting that, that theta out of there, but yeah, not so much right now. So uh, for whatever the reason, you know, it'll probably come out if crude waffles around a little bit. Uh, more than likely will come out at the end of the day. We never know when theta is going to come out. It's just speculation on my part. But... Um, yeah, it's got it with, with two days to go. That theta has got to come out at some point in time. So anyway, we'll just keep an eye on that and uh, just keep trading, keep uh, keep protecting ourselves to to the downside. And uh, you know, this trade will be over in a couple of days for some of you guys hanging on out there. So uh, hey, this is uh, this has been a brutal move up for guys that were trading it on the upside and then all the way back down. Uh, you know, just two very huge moves in the crude market, and uh, you know we'll turn return to some period of norm normalcy, where we get you know I I expect anywhere from four to seven weeks of uh, of normal trading in crude, where we're taking hitting our profit levels every five to seven days. You know that's going to return back. So it's this is just a period where we've gone straight up, straight down, uh, very huge moves. So we just have to stay with them. Um, make the best of those trades and then we run, return back and, and crush it. Dollar is screaming this morning. Holy molies, this thing is just ratcheted higher. Um, and gold is, uh, gold's holding its own too. So, oh man, I don't know what just happened, but come in there and hit the markets. Yeah, they come in and hit them pretty good. Took the S&Ps down rather nicely let's take a look and see what's going on here give me just a second guys let me see what's uh... yeah we just lost uh... wow about five handles in the S&P in a matter of the time and I was uh, starting this brief here so that's a that's a pretty nice little uh, push down pre-market. Yeah, I like to see that kind of action. That's that's really nice. All right. Anyway, dollar is uh, dollars ripping. It's it's still higher. Um, ninety nine seventy five ninety. That's pretty close to where it was when I took the snapshot. So anyway, she's ripping higher. Gold's holding its own. So I don't know what that's about. All right. Here's the gold market see our levels for the week 1295 and 1155 so uh, golds in the last 18 19 weeks golds only broached this level and closed beyond it once so those are pretty safe zones in the crude market I mean the uh, gold market 
and you know it's roughly 70 percent uh, I forget my exact stats you'd have to pull up uh, last week's but somewhere 60 64 to 75 percent broaching this uh, level right here so it's uh, gold typically behaves itself on the weekly uh, levels so anyway that is the uh, weekly zones for this week and uh, got no other uh, no other info to put out and of course I'm in on the uh, strangle and the S&P's um, I'm going to be looking at some more um, broken wing butterflies this week as well and and I think that's it for the next uh, two days guys but I'll, I'll keep you updated keep you posted put out tonight what I'm what I'm really looking at so not going to put any other new trades on today they'll mostly be put on tomorrow through uh, Friday anyway you guys have a nice trading day this is BA signing out